Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. As always, it's always our opinion. Brad, we did a video uh, called Vertigo, which treatment should you do? And based upon that, you're going to want to do one of three treatments. In this case, we're, we're, in, we're indicating that you should do the liberatory method and the liberatory method to the left. So a symptom for this would be that you're when you and you know vertigo is a spinning sensation, sure. and if that spinning sensation is coming on when you turn to the left, and it's lasting for a, a little more than a minute, not less than a minute. If it's less than a minute, you can do the candlelit repositioning treatment or the athlete. Sure. But if it's more than a minute, and I'm not talking about 15 minutes or 30 minutes, but just maybe a little more than a minute, then you should try this liberatory method. Okay. Okay. So it means if you lay on your left side or turn to your left, and it produces symptoms. spinning, and the spinning lasts for more than a minute. Okay. All right. Also, we want to make sure that you have the, that your neck is okay, that you can do this, that you don't have diffusion or, or rheumatoid arthritis. And Brad's going to show you what a 45 degree angle is. Okay. Because right, you're going to need to know this to do this method. All right. So straight ahead is zero degrees, 90 degrees is all the way over. We're going to go halfway in between would be 45. So that's to the left and obviously to the right. If you do not have that range, some people you know cannot move their neck, and if you don't have that range, is this going to work, Bob? No, it's not. Okay. There's other methods they can try, but you're going to have to have a professional do it. Sure. Brad, why don't you sit in the middle here? We're doing the liberatory method to the left, okay? But you actually start with the head 45 degrees to the right. All right. With that in that position, you're now going to go on to the left shoulder. He's still 45 degrees to the right, but he's also going to bend his head 20 degrees down. Hold it for one minute. One minute. So, one minute. So when I do this, I get someone to watch a class for me. I have my digital thing, and I, I time it pretty accurately. Sure. All right, after one minute, we're not going to sit there for a minute, Brad. Yeah. You are impatient. Yeah. You can go all the way to the other side, and your head is still... 45 degrees to the left. Now this one, you don't bend down at all. Nope, you stay right up here, 45 degrees to the left, and you're going to hold it there for one minute. And if they're getting dizzy with this, if the symptoms should reside. The, yep, we're hoping this, the, the symptoms are going to start to lessen as you get in this position. Keep your eyes open. All right, Brad, sit up. Let's say it's been a minute. Now, we don't want people to bend down or look down the rest of the day. So what we recommend is that you use a soft collar. If you don't have one, you might take a towel or something and wrap it around. As Brad mentioned in the last video, he just tells people to get one before uh, you know they start. You just really need that reminder so you don't do it for the rest of the day. Right. In addition to that, because you're having symptoms to the left, I would also recommend that you do not sleep on your left side for the next couple of nights. Right. In addition, I would probably have a, I'd sleep on a couple of pillows and kind of keep, keep yourself raised up during that entire time for sure. two nights. So right. after the treatment, the rest of the day, head up, so you, you can't look down right. and you can't bend over. Right. And keep it like a book on your head. You but, can't even bend down and eat. You know, right. Nothing. right. But then after that, then they can do that. The next day they can, but just to give yourself a little bit of more of a boost, I still sleep with your head up, and I won't sleep on that left side for two to three more nights. Yes, two to three more. Nights. Okay. Yeah. If this isn't successful, see the doctor. Yeah. Well, you, you should. The doctor should be involved all along here anyway. But uh, I, um, yeah, see your doctor, and, and uh, um, you, you may have to try something else. Sure. Good luck to you.